A few days ago, I got a request for this video, and I hope that it's hel I hope it helps, and I'm going to try and make a few more videos on load-bearing and non-bearing walls to see if I can make sense out of it to everyone. Um, realistically, you're going to start with a concrete foundation, and this would be a concrete floor slab. You can see right here that we have an exterior wall. This is for a room addition. With a, with a footing, and these footings are usually going to be 12 inches wide and about 12 inches deep um, for a single story and for a two story. They are going to be 15 inches wide and about 18 inches deep, but don't forget this can vary. Um, I've dug them as deep as 24 inches and 18 inches wide for a single story, so um, we can get to uh, a little carried away with these footings sometimes by the engineers, but I'm sure they have their reasons. Uh, this just gives you an idea of what's underneath the slab. After the slab has been poured, you can build the walls, and of course the there's the back wall and the front wall, and these are exterior walls. Remember, this is a room addition. This is not a brand new house. This is a room addition between a garage and a uh, existing home. So the first part of the uh, of a load-bearing wall for a two-story home would be the bottom or a lower wall and uh, then you would have the floor joist or the floor framing that would sit on top of that wall and then, of course, you would have another wall, the second floor wall or upper wall, sitting on top of that floor. And last but not least, you would have the roof sitting on top of that, transferring all of the weight down to the foundation. So for a two-story home, uh, this would be a load-bearing wall. This is an excellent scenario for exterior load-bearing walls. Remember a load-bearing wall is a wall that is supporting something structurally and it will require um, something underneath it to transfer the weight down to the ground. So that will be required by either a concrete footing of some sort or uh, a structural beam and I will try and cover the structural beams in another video, but this should give you an idea, kind of a general idea of what an exterior um, load-bearing wall actually does and um, how it functions.